In this video, I show how to create a stem and leaf plot in StatCrunch. I have signed into StatCrunch. My username, LMCMath34, is in the upper right hand corner. I am going to open a blank StatCrunch by clicking on the yellow Open StatCrunch button. In a new tab, this takes me to a blank spreadsheet. If you're working on a tablet or a cell phone, it'll open a new window with a blank spreadsheet for you. You can still see that I'm logged in because the upper right hand corner continues to have my username there. I am going to start by entering the ages of some family members. So under variable one, I'm going to give that column a title. So I'm going to click on the gray var one and rename this as ages of family members. And then I'm going to input the ages of some of my family members. All right, so I've got some family member ages in here. And now to create a stem and leaf plot, I go to graph and select stem and leaf. And then I'm gonna select my column. If I had multiple columns, I would have a few different values to choose from here. Since I've created this data myself, I just have the column I've entered so far. So I'm gonna select ages of family members. I'm not gonna do any grouping. I do wanna make sure that my leaf unit is the ones place. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one here. By default, StatCrunch will assign the stem and leaf to you. Um, I'm pretty sure in this case it would have assigned the leaf to be the ones place since I've only entered uh, values between 0 and 100. And then I'm not going to trim any outliers for now. We can come back and see if any of the ages in my family are considered outliers. And we are going to go ahead and hit compute. So StatCrunch has created the stems on the left. Our stems range from 1 to 7 because the ages in my family ranged from 11 to 79. The leaves are in the right column and each leaf corresponds with an age of a family member. So you can see the family member who's 11 years old is represented by the one in the stem and the one in the leaf. The family member who's 14 years old is represented by the one in the stem and the four in the leaf and so on. You can see the maximum value here is the family member who's 79 years old represented by the seven in the stem and the nine in the leaf. In the stem and leaf plot here we're counting by tens because each row corresponds with a power of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, or 70. So I'm going to also create a histogram for comparison. So I'm going to go to graph histogram, select age as a family member, and then I'm going to make my bin width 10, and I'm going to start at 10 and hit compute. And if you notice, the frequencies of each of these bins corresponds to how far out each of my leaf columns goes. So in my first leaf unit from 10 to 19, I had four family members. And you can see in the histogram bin from 10 to 19, not yet starting at 20, that has frequency four. You can see I didn't have any family members in the 20s in the stem plot. And similarly in the histogram, I didn't have any family members between 20 and 29. So you can see in the histogram, we have the same shape as we see in the stem and leaf plot. And the length of each stem, the number of leaves corresponding with each stem, corresponds to the frequency in the histogram. So I like to think about if I rotate my stem and leaf plot, which is especially easy if I've drawn it by hand on paper, it looks just like the shape of the histogram. 